Hello, my name is Matt York, and you are watching the Extended Play Sessions. Welcome! She's a hotter than nine kinds of hell. Rides are as scarce as the rain. When you're down, you lash up with nothing to sell. Too far away from the train. It's been a good month of Sundays. A guitar, a go, I had a tall drink of yes. Yesterday's wine Lost a long string of friends Some sheets in the wind Some satisfied women behind Ride me down easy, Lord Ride me on down Leave a word in the dust Where I lay I'm I'm easy to love when I sleep. Mr. Nick say no. Hell on the hill, locked horns with the devil himself. I've been a rodeo bum, a son of a gun, and a hobo with stars in his crown. Ride me down easy, Lord, ride me on down. Leave word and the dust where. I'm easy go, I'm easy go, I'm easy to love when I stay. Ride me down easy, Lord, ride me on down. Ooh. I'm easy go, I'm easy go. I'm easy to love when I stay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for all coming out. Um, this is our first time here. It's a real treat to uh, to come here, and uh, what an what an incredible spot for uh, live music. It's a uh, it's a very cool thing. My name is Matt York. I grew up uh, not far from here. I grew up in Foxboro, uh, yeah, and uh, I lived in Norwood for a while. And uh, I'll talk about all that. I probably won't talk all about. Mention it again. It's, we're not gonna we're not gonna focus on it. Um, uh, I have uh, been a musician my whole life and, and a singer songwriter forever. And uh, I. Um, Met my wife at the Lizard Lounge in Cambridge, where we were both playing the music about 22 years ago, and uh, we've got thank you, and uh, we've got two teenage daughters, and uh, we, uh, we we get to play music occasionally, but primarily I play by myself, and uh, I do the songs of the Highwaymen, which if you're not all that familiar, are Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson, Waylon Jennings, and the great Chris Christopherson. Yeah, yeah, totally, and. Uh, 
And so uh, what I normally do is I just go around and I sing these songs by myself and I tell dumb stories about these guys' careers. And people laugh and then I play songs and then they like them and then they laugh some more and sometimes they don't. Uh, so for instance, today I was at a, a, a assisted living community in uh, Weston, Massachusetts, and they had had a fire alarm go off at three in the morning. So there was a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of very sleepy people <laughs> for the earlier concert. I'm hopeful that you guys uh, will all stay awake. There was a person in the audience today that was 105 years old, though, so I told you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a song called uh, Georgia on a Fast Train, and uh, it's a song that was written by the great Billy Joe Shaver. This song was uh, written by Billy Joe, but it was uh, done by Willie and uh, also done by Johnny Cash, and it is a damn good song. As you'll notice as we go along, I don't focus uh, solely on the songs. 
uh, that, that were on the Highwaymen albums. I do the songs of Cash, Willie, Waylon, and Chris uh, that they did individually. Uh, in the middle here, I'm going to do a, uh, a handful of songs where I'm just going to play by myself. and It's going to be like when you break out the lighters and you're just like, this is... <laughs> So if you left your lighter in the car, you know, yeah, yeah, you can do the cell phone thing. That's totally fine. It's probably a little safer. Um, the song is called Whiskey River. And uh, it's the song, I was first a hit song for Johnny Bush, uh, the old Texas honky tonk singer. And, uh, but Willie, uh, Willie co wrote it, and uh, he's been playing it since the early 70s for 50 years. Uh, it's the first song he plays every night. It sounds like this. Whiskey River, take my mind. Don't let no memory torture me. Whiskey River, don't run dry. Hell, I'm your all, I gotta take care of me. Whiskey River, take my mind. Don't let her memory torture me. Whiskey River, don't run dry. Tonight you're all I've got to take care of me I'm drowning in the whiskey river Breathing our memory mine in the wetness of the soul Feeling that going from my mind A warm and empty heart you left so cold Whiskey river take my mind Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. 
This next song is a song that was written by Steve Goodman. Um, he wrote a bunch of great, great country songs. He wrote uh, one of the most famous uh, country songs of all time, which I'm drawing a blank on the name of the song. Uh, about uh, moms and trains. You never even call me. Never even call me by my name. Yep, that was a Steve Goodman song. Uh, this song was made famous by uh, Arlo Guthrie and also by Willie Nelson. And uh, uh, yeah. and it's uh, it's called City of New Orleans. And uh, yeah, it sounds a little something like this. Riding on the city of New Orleans Illinois Central Monday morning rail Oh, 15 cars, 15 restless riders Oh, three conductors, 25 sacks of mail All along the southbound Odyssey All the train goes out the gang all rules along past houses, arms, and all passing trains that have no name and freight guards full of old black men and the graveyards of the rusted automobiles. Good morning, America, how are I said, don't you know me? I'm your native son. I'm the train they call the city of the world. I fucked that up, folks. Let me just say it right up front. It was me. It was me that fucked it up. Dealing card games with the old men in the club car. Then he appointed. No one keeping score. Oh, past the paper bag that holds the bottle. I hear the wheels rumbling beneath the pool. Oh, the sons of Pullman Porter. Oh, the sons of Engineer. All oh, ride their father's magic carpet made of steel. Mothers with their babes and we are rocking to the gentle beat of the rhythm of the rails is all in. Good morning, America, how are you? I said, don't you know me? I'm your native son. I'm the train they call the city of the door. Hundred miles till the day is done. Nick Sano's not gonna fuck it up. Time on the city of New Orleans Changing cars in Memphis, Tennessee Oh, halfway home, I oh, will be there by morning All oh, through the Mississippi darkness Rolling on down the sea All oh, the towns and people seem to fade Oh, fade into a bad dream all oh, the steel rails, they still ain't heard the news. Oh, the conductor sings his song again. The passengers will please refrain this train. It's got the disappearing railroad blues. Good morning, America, how are you? 
I said, don't you know, I'm your native son. I'm the train they call the city of the world. I'll be gone 500 miles till the day is done. I'll be gone 500 miles till the day is done. I'll be gone 500 miles till the day is done. One more time. I'll be gone 500 miles till the day is done. Thank you very much. Thank you. I apologize for that. I, uh, I usually know how to do this thing. So we're just going to have to see how the rest of the night goes. I might have just done too much this week. Um, so the Highwaymen uh, joined together in, in 1985, and they made three records together in 1985, 1990, and 1995. And um, they uh, all had been stars, obviously, for many, many years at that point. And um, Johnny Cash's career would have these different ebbs and flows to it. And uh, I was born in 72. And between 72 and 1985, Johnny Cash only had one top 10 hit. And um, you know, he was making a lot of uh, bad albums. His, 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 um, he was playing much, much, much smaller venues than he had historically played. And uh, was making, doing a lot of acting and, and just not having a lot of success. And simultaneously, his daughter, Roseanne Cash, she had 13 number one hits in the 80s uh, and was a huge star in the world of country. Um, and Willie Nelson had, you know, was just killing it at that point. Every album that he released was a number one album, it seemed like. And he had done some different duets albums with folks like Farron Young and Ray Price and Merle Haggard and Waylon Jennings. And um, the idea was hatched to have he and uh, Cash do a duets album together to maybe springboard Cash's career a little bit. And uh, they didn't know each other very well at that point uh, in their lives. And um, their voices were just too dissimilar, and it just uh, didn't work out. And, uh, but they were both close friends with Christopherson and with, with Waylon Jennings. And uh, they, uh, had a, they got a song, the song, uh, Highway Man, which I'm going to play later on tonight. Um, and they decided to record that. That had four verses to it, so each one of them took a verse. And uh, they released that album in 1985, and it went straight to number one. And, uh, you know, they were back to playing huge, huge venues and uh, all those concerts that you've probably seen at PBS through the years when they're, when they're doing their fundraising. And uh, this song is a, um, is a really uh, a favorite of mine. Um, it's um, called Big River, and uh, Big River is a, yeah, uh, Big River is a song that, that um, Cash did early in his career, and um, later on, uh, when they did the Highwaymen album, they put it out on that album as well, and, uh, and that sounds a little something like this. Uh, wait, wait, I need my little capo, hold on. Ah, oh, fuck it, I don't have it, no way. Go ahead. You need a capo? I got one here. Uh, no. Nope, you're refusing the capo? This is the first time we're going to be doing this without the capo, just so you know. Oh, I, did it this I did it this afternoon to that lady that was 106. I nailed it early. <laughs> she was like, that was so good. She's like, I've been around a long time. I've never heard a big river like that one. She That's was 105 she when this start started. Now she's 106 without the capo. All right, you ready? I taught the weeping willow how to cry, cry, cry. And I showed the clouds how to cover up a clear blue sky. As I cried for that woman, well, they're gonna flood you, big river. Well, I'm gonna sit right here until I die. I met her accidentally in St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, I told me up every time I heard her draw, Southern draw. Heard my dream was back downstream, Caborton and Davenport. Oh, I followed you, Big River, what you call. Go ahead, Nick.
went to St. Louis, laid her on down the river. The breeder said she's been here, but she's gone, boy, she's gone. I found her trail in Memphis, oh, she just walked up the bluff. She raised a few eyebrows and she went on down alone. Now won't you bat it down by Baton Rouge, River Queen, roll it on. Take that woman on down to New Orleans, New Orleans. Go on, I've had enough, oh, dump my blues down in the cool. She loves you, Big River, more than Cry, cry, cry. I showed the clouds how to cover up a clear blue sky. Tears I cried for that woman. Well, they're gonna flood you, big river. Well, I'm gonna sit right here until I die. Well, I'm gonna sit right here until I die. Well, I'm gonna sit right here until I die. What right more? All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, before I uh, before I go on to another song, I just want to say um, that uh, it's 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 really awesome uh, what 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 Bill and everybody that that has that uh, volunteers here and works here uh, d does. I mean, I, I've been, thank you, uh, yeah, for sure, absolutely. Um, I, uh, I started playing the clubs in Boston when I was a 14 year old kid and uh, it's changed an awful lot in those years and I still play them and it's uh, been a tough thing to watch. So many of them closed over the years and um, you know, I had heard how great this room was from so many different um, artists that I've performed with over the last few years. and. Um, so I was, our friend, uh, Bill's friend and mine, uh, Christine Ullman, uh, has played here a few times. Yeah, Christine's amazing. She's awesome. Give it up. <laughs> and uh, the last time she was here, she, was, she really put a, a bug in Bill's ear about uh, having me to come down here because I opened up for her quite a bit, and she's been a really uh, big advocate for me. So uh, uh, I'm glad to finally get out here and, and see it, and uh, it is a really, really cool spot. I'm looking forward to walking around and looking at all the posters afterwards because I haven't had a chance to do that. Bloody Mary morning, baby left me without warning sometime in the night. Dropped lying down to Houston, forgetting hers to make sure of my flight. A golden jet is airborne, flight 50 plays the path from out the morning sky. A voice comes on the speaker reassuring us, flight 50 is the way to fly. All the nightlife and the party, temptation and deceit, the odor of the day. It's a bloody merry morning, cause I'm leaving baby somewhere in LA. Well, it's a bloody merry morning, baby left me without warning sometime in the night. So I'm riding down to Houston, getting hers the nature of my Golden jet is airborne, hot light 50, just tap the mark the morning sky. And a voice comes on the speaker, reassuring us, flight 50 is the way to fly. Oh, hostess takes our order, coffee, tea, or something stronger to start off the day. A 
a bloody Mary morning Cause I'm leaving baby somewhere in L.A. Oh, it's a bloody Mary morning Baby left me without warning sometime in the night So I'm flying down the Houston Forgetting hers, the nature of my flight So I'm flying down the Houston Forgetting hers, the nature of my flight I'm flying down to Houston Forgetting hers, the nature of my life All righty, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I think these guys are going to leave the stage for a couple songs, and things are going to get, get a little more intimate in here. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about a, um, a couple of these guys. Um, in particular, I want to focus uh, a couple of songs on, um, on both Chris Christopherson and um, Johnny Cash. Um, you know, I, I've been playing all over forever, and uh, I found when I went down south um, uh, playing my own gigs in, in you know, like the last 10 years or so that um, a, lot of the, a lot of the people who were my musical heroes were kind of being forgotten with time. So, um, you know, you, when you go to Texas, everywhere you look, you see Willie stuff. And uh, when you go to Nashville and Memphis, you see Johnny Cash everywhere. But, you know, I felt like a lot of the guys that were their peers uh, who were just not only great, great um, uh, songwriters and, and artists, but they also just had these incredible stories, too. And so um, in 2020, six months into COVID, uh, I was laid off uh, from my job, and uh, two weeks later, my wife was laid off from her job. And uh, I think we mentioned earlier that we have two wildly expensive teenage daughters. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that was great. And... Uh, <laughs> I have a degree in economics, and I spent 20 years looking at spreadsheets and hating every single second of it. I, I liked lunch, and I liked five, like, I liked 459. Like, 459, I was like, boom, ready. And, um, and so I started doing this thing. I used to write for a newspaper when I was younger, and um, I wrote a book about the highwayman, and I just started cobbling it together, and I'd play anywhere I'd go. I'd go to libraries, I'd go to um, summer concert series in people's towns, churches, wherever I could go. And, um, and it just kind of grew and it grew. And the last two years, I've done 180 concerts each year. And uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, it, it has no, it's not always like this at all. Like, it's not at all like this. A lot of the time, it's not. And uh, so this is my fourth concert in two days. And... Uh, I uh, started out the first year doing the songs of the Highwayman. People seem to like that. And so last year I did the songs of Johnny Cash. Uh, people seem to like that. This year I'm doing the songs of Willie. And, uh, and in places that I haven't been before, I'll do Cash or Highwayman or whatever. And, um, you know, this song that I'm going to do next is uh, Sunday Morning Coming Down. And, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Chris Christopherson wrote this song, and uh, I can say unequivocally, I've probably played this song 500 times over the last few years, and uh, without question, it's the song, not because of my performance of it, but um, this is the song that people come up to me the most and talk to me afterwards about, because uh, it, it, when you hear, if you're not familiar with this song, by the time you get to the end of it, it almost feels like you are, um, like you've just finished the script to um, a, a, an incredible movie, the, the level of detail, and Christopherson, um, you know, had this incredible background where he was a Rhodes Scholar that studied at Oxford. He was a pilot in the military. Uh, he was a Golden Gloves boxer. Uh, and he decided to move to Nashville and he took a job as a custodian at a recording studio down there with the hopes of getting his songs into the hands of folks like Johnny Cash. And, uh, and it worked. Uh, Cash immediately recognized uh, his talent when he saw him. And, and um, Sunday morning coming down was uh, Cash released this song in 1971. It was the song of the year that year for um, Christopherson and really was a launching pad for him as a songwriter and then as, a, uh, as an artist as well. And it sounds a little something like this. Well, I woke up Sunday morning with no way to hold my head that didn't hurt. All the beer I had for breakfast wasn't bad, so I had one more for dessert.
Then I fumbled in my closet Through my clothes Found my cleanest dirty shirt Washed my face and combed my hair Stumbled down the stairs To leave the bed I'd smoked my mind the night before With cigarettes and songs that I'd been picking But I lit my first and I watched the small kid Playing with the can that he was kicking And I walked across the street I caught the Sunday smell of someone frying chicken Oh, it took me back to something That I lost somewhere, somehow along the way On a Sunday morning sidewalk I'm wishing, Lord, I was stoned Oh, there's something in a Sunday That'll make your body feel alone Yeah, there's nothing sure to die yeah. Half as lonesome as the sound Of a sleeping city sidewalk Sunday morning coming down On the park I saw a daddy Oh, with a laughing little girl That he was swinging oh, I stopped beside a Sunday school I listened to the songs that they were singing And I headed down the street Oh, somewhere far away A lonely bell was ringing Oh, that go through the canyons Like our disappearing dreams of yesterday On a Sunday morning sidewalk I'm wishing, Lord, I was stoned Oh, there's something in a Sunday That'll make your body feel alone Yeah, there's nothing sure to die in Half as lonesome as the sound Of a sleeping city sidewalk Sunday morning coming down yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That Chris Thompson's pretty good. I, uh, I, I didn't, the only thing I knew about Chris Thompson as a kid, I knew that, uh, that my mom thought he was good looking. And, uh, and I knew that he'd made uh, a million movies. He made like 70 movies or something. And, uh, but I didn't know much about his music when I was young. Uh, but as I've gone around and, uh, and performed, I figured out that uh, I, my mother was not the only one that felt that way about Chris Christopherson. <laughs> An entire generation was just like, woo, he was like the rock of their age, you know? <laughs> um, this is a song that Christopherson wrote as well. Um, it's called uh, For the Good Times. It's a song that, um, that Ray Price uh, made famous. It's, it's one of my favorites. Don't look so sad. I know it's over. But life goes on And this old world will keep on turning 
Let's just be glad We had some time to spend together There's no need to watch the bridges that we're burning Lay your head Upon my pillow Hold your warm and tender body Close to mine Hear the whisper Blowing soft against the window Oh, make believe you love me one more time For the good time I'll get along You'll find another And I'll be here If you should knew You'll ever need me Don't say a word about tomorrow forever There's no need to wash the bridges all oh, that we're burning Lay your head Upon my pillow Hold your warm and tender body close to mine Hear the whisper of the raindrops Blowing soft against the window Oh, make believe you love me one more time. For the good times. For the good times. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to do one more acoustic and then I'm going to take, we're going to have a 15 minute break. You guys can get up and uh, get a drink, whatever. I'm going to be back at the merch table. Uh, I wrote a book about the highwayman. Did I mention, I might have mentioned that already, but I, if you're interested in the book, I have CDs of me doing music. That's what I do. And uh, if any of that is of interest to you, uh, please come say hi. Um, my name is Matt York, uh, Matt York Boston on all social media and mattyorkmusic.com on the internet. Um, this song is a song called Peace in the Valley, and this song, I would venture to guess, all four of the highwaymen have done at one point or another, but it's certainly a song that, um, that, that, that Cash and Willie uh, recorded through the years, and uh, I've really fallen in love with a whole bunch of the gospel albums that these guys made. Uh, Cash made five gospel albums, and, and Willie made three, and um, I've been recording demos all uh, winter long uh, of these songs because I just am nuts about them, and... Um, this is Peace in the Valley. Well, I'm tired and I'm weary, but I must go alone till the Lord comes and towels me away. When the morning's so bright, all the Lamb is the light, and the night. It is fair as the day. Oh, there'll be peace in the valley for me someday. 
There'll be peace in the valley for me. Oh, there'll be no sadness, no sorrow, no troubles I see. There'll be peace in the valley for me. Well, the flowers will be blooming, all oh, the grass will be green, all oh, the skies will be clear and serene. Where the sun never beams, and this valley of dreams, and no clouds will ever be seen. Oh, there'll be peace in the valley for me someday. There'll be peace in the valley for me. Oh, there'll be no sun, no sun, no troubles I see. There'll be peace in the valley for me. Well, the bear will be gentle, ah, oh, the wolf will be tame, and the lion shall lay down by the lamb. Oh, the beast from the wild shall be led by a child, and I'll be changed from this creature that I am. Oh, there'll be peace in the valley for me someday. There'll be peace. In the valley for me. Oh, there'll be, be no sadness, no sorrow, no troubles I see. There'll be peace in the valley for me. So. Thank you very much. I take a short break. We'll be back.
Welcome back. I am Matt York, and you are listening to or watching the extended play sessions at the Fallout Shelter. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I have been ungrateful. I've been unwise. Restless from the cradle. Now I realize it's so hard to see the rainbow through glasses dark as these. Maybe I'll be able from now on. On my knees. Oh, I am weak. Oh, I know I am vain. Take this from me. Oh, let my spirit be unchained. Staring at the sidewalk And I'm overcome Seems like we've both forgot Forgotten to go home Have I seen an angel Or have Rock of ages when I need it most. Oh, I am weak. Oh, I know I am vain. Take this weight from me. Let my spirit be unchained. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to do one more song, and then I'm going to bring the band back up, and uh, it'll, it'll be noisier. Um, so again, for those of you paying attention, uh, the Highwaymen were uh, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, and the great Chris Christopherson. Uh, between the four of them, there were a total of 13 wives and 27 children. Uh, <laughs> uh, all of them were married young and married repeatedly. Uh, Waylon Jennings was married four times with six kids. Johnny Cash was married twice with five children. Christopherson had eight children from three marriages. Uh, Willie's been married four times. Uh, he has eight children from five different women. And uh, I was playing a concert not too long ago, and a guy in the back of the room yelled out. He's like, you know, Willie might not be done yet. <laughs> so uh, so I, I have to carry that around with me everywhere I go. And so I, I feel like I lighten the load a little bit when I share it. Uh, this is Highwayman. I was a highwayman. Along the coach roads I did ride Sword and pistol by my side Many a young maid lost her bauble to my tree Many a soldier shed his lifeblood on my blade The bastards hung me in the spring of 25 I am still alive I was a sailor, I was born upon the tide 
with the sea I did abide. I sailed the schooner round the horn to Mexico. I went aloft and furled the mainsail in a blow. And when the eyes broke up, they said that I got killed. I am living still. I was a dam builder across a river deep and wide. Where steel and water get to lie. A place called Boulder on the wild Colorado. I slipped and fell into the wet concrete below. They buried me in that gray tomb that knows no sound. I am still around. I'll always be around and around and around and around. And around, and around, and around. I'll fly a starship across the universe to buy. Oh, when I reach the other side, I'll find a place to rest my spirit if I can. Perhaps I may become a highwayman again Or I may simply be a single drop of rain I will remain oh, I'll be back again and again and again and again and again The band's coming back up. While they're uh, while they're coming up, I'll uh, just uh, s mention one thing here. I uh, the next song we're gonna do is a song by uh, the great Merle Haggard, and um, um, yeah, give it up for Merle Haggard. Hell yes, give it up for <laughs> a thousand times yes on that. Um, uh, for those of you that are maybe not big fans of country music, or you're just here for no reason, you don't know why you're here, someone dragged you here, and you're like, who the fuck are the highwaymen? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and why is this guy singing their songs? Um, Merle Haggard, uh, from basically the ages of about 14 to 21, 22, uh, was incarcerated in juvenile lockups and then adult prisons, and he wasn't a particularly violent guy, he wasn't a, um, a drug addict, he was... He was kind of a guy that would just, you know, like he was like the 15 year old kid that would steal your car and crash it into a tree and get sent to a juvenile lockup and then break out of that juvenile lockup and, and get put in another one and break out of that one. He eventually ended up in San Quentin prison. And um, while he was there, Johnny Cash came and performed a concert. And, uh, and, and he watched that, and, and Merle was already playing guitar and singing at that point. Uh, and, you know, he said, I think when I get out of here, I'll just go be Johnny Cash. That seems to be a pretty good job. And uh, <laughs> Merle Haggard would go on to have over 30 number one hits on the country charts through the years. He had more number one hits than Willie Nelson, more number ones than Johnny Cash, more than just about anybody. Um, I love this story that Emmy Lou Harris tells. She says that, uh, but I'm going to tell two Emmy Lou stories. Willie Nelson once said about Emmy Lou Harris, there are two kinds of men in this world. There are men that are in love with Emmy Lou Harris, and there are men that have yet to meet Emmy Lou Harris. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, Emmy Lou um, uh, was a big fan of, of, of Merle, and, and she said when people say to her, what is classic country music? Well, what is country music to you? And she says, uh, grab any Merle Haggard album you can find. It doesn't matter which one, just grab one. Throw it on the record player, pick up the needle, drop it anywhere. That's what country music is right there. That, that whatever you landed on, that's what country music is. And uh, Merle's probably one of my very, very, very favorite. He is one of my favorites. And uh, this is Working Man Blues. It's a big job just getting by with nine kids 
in a while. I've been a working man, well, dang near all my life, and I'll go back working. Long as my two hands are fit to you. I drink my beer in the air, try a little bit of these words. Nose on the grindstone, well, I work hard every day. I might get a little tired on the weekend. After I draw my pay, I gotta go back work. Come Monday morning, I'm right back with the crew. I drink my beer in the evening, and I have a little bit of this work in man blue. See where we're headed. All right. So the next song we're gonna do is what? Uh, Folsom Prison Blues. Folsom Prison Blues. Johnny Cash used to. Yeah. yeah. This is a popular one. Uh, um, Johnny Cash used to say that people would come up to him all the time and say, uh, "My father was in prison with you," and. Uh, <laughs> And, I, I, and from what I can tell, I'm not sure Cash really went out of his way to correct folks about that. I think he really liked the fact that people thought he was, uh, you know, spent a lot of time uh, behind bars. He spent a few nights in jail for just being dumb, uh, yeah. but he never spent any, yeah. uh, who hasn't? And, uh, <laughs> um, but uh, he never spent any time behind in, in prison. Um, but he was very, very, um, uh, he, he realized that, that had, had he not had the kind of golden voice that he had, uh, that with his addiction to pills and, and just his just kind of general recklessness, that uh, it's very easy that he could have been, uh, been that person. And I'm not sure if June Carter came along that he wouldn't have become that person. And so he was very, very passionate about it. Um, there's an interesting uh, documentary out right now on Netflix called uh, uh, Tricky Dick and the Man in Black uh, about... Cash's visit to perform at the Nixon White House, and um, it was kind of a funny thing because Nixon wanted to try to use 
cash is a, a political prop, and you can imagine how that went. And, uh, uh, and uh, but he wanted to go, and he did go, and he really wanted to talk about a lot of the prison reforms that he felt were necessary from all the concerts that he had played and things that he had seen, and um, you know, just uh, trying to offer a voice to the voiceless. And um, Nixon resigned shortly after that concert, so <laughs> a lot of those things didn't get uh, implemented. But uh, this is Folsom Prison. Nick's gonna, Nick's gonna do the part where they're like. <laughs> Well, I don't know when will I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. Time keeps dragging on. But that train keeps on the road. Thank you. I want to introduce the band. Tim Deneen back here on drums. <laughs> Holding it down. Holding it down. Nick Zeno over here on the guitar. And uh, the lovely Beth York, uh, who has the, the tall task of uh, being my baby's mama. And uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Beth and I met 22 years ago at the Lizard Lounge. We were both playing a concert there together. And uh, about three weeks later, I moved into her house, and uh, <laughs> yeah, she checked off a lot of boxes, and I said, you know what, I might as well just get married, and uh, here we are. So uh, it's pretty Did cool. Did she know you were there? <laughs> I'm 51, she's 25, so <laughs> it was weird at first. <laughs> um, what are we doing next, Beth? Always on my mind, oh boy, oh man. The teardrops are gonna start now. Um, feel free to dance if you want, I don't know, do, do you dance here? I don't know if that, that seems like you could, I don't know. No, you don't dance, you don't dance. If you dance, it's, it, yeah, you're gonna, yeah, don't dance. No one should have told you to dance. 
Um, all right. Let me just tell you a quick story, folks. Let me tell you a quick story, and then I'm going to sing more songs. The, uh, all I do is I do this every day. I do this, like, every day. I'm uh, doing it somewhere. And so I don't have a hell of a lot of time to rehearse with a full band because it's just me all the time. It's just me, you know? Uh, every day I get up and I go, and I usually play a concert. Maybe I play, today's my second concert. Today I played four in the last two days. And, uh, and then I go, and I usually make a bad food decision at some point. <laughs> then I get gas. And I go to Dunks, and I go to another place. That's all I do. So my drummer, Tim, we talked about Tim earlier. Tim um, lives in Manchester, New Hampshire, which is convenient when you live on the South Shore like Beth and I do. And uh, <laughs> Nick, Nick lives in Lynn. And, uh, you know, we are hundreds and hundreds of years away from finding an efficient way to get from the North Shore to the South Shore or <laughs> vice versa. So uh, I very much appreciate them uh, putting all this together. And my biggest fear, folks, let me just tell you, it's important that you talk about the things that you fear. And uh, we only have like a handful of songs. So like if you guys just go nuts at the end and you're like, we need more of a guy playing songs by the highwaymen, there's going to be a limit to what we can do to you. <laughs> so, uh, so I hope you don't like the rest of this too much. You know, <laughs> This is always on my mind. Always on my mind uh, was first released by, uh, it wasn't first released, but Elvis Presley released a version of this song 10 years before Willie. Willie did not write this song. Um, but I, I think of it as kind of like one of the real definitive Willie songs. <laughs> Maybe I didn't love you. Right as often as I could have. Maybe I didn't treat you But as good as I should have If I made you feel second best Girl, I'm sorry I was blind You're always on my mind You're always on my mind Maybe I didn't hold you All those lonely, lonely times I guess I never told you I'm so happy that you're mine Little things I should have said and done I just never took the time You're always on my mind You're always on my mind Tell me, tell me that your sweet love hasn't died. Give me, give me one more chance to keep you satisfied. I Keep you satisfied. Guitar! Little things I should have said and done I just never took the time You're always on my mind 
You're always on my mind You're always on my mind You're always on my mind Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to uh, just talk about Waylon Jennings for a second because uh, I haven't mentioned him at all tonight. And uh, when I when I go around and I do these concerts, um, I find that um, people are less familiar with with Waylon um, than they are with with some of the other members of the Highway. All the other members of the Highway Man. Uh, but Waylon Jennings was a huge, huge star. He had 15 number one hits. Um, the country charts through the years. He had a really interesting career, um, and he was a rebel through and through in, in every possible way. And really, um, you know, the, 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 the outlaw music, the out, outlaw country that people talk about really wouldn't have taken place if it weren't for, for Waylon Jennings. And um, uh, when people say that they don't know any songs by Waylon Jennings, this is what I do to them. I say, Just the good old boy. Never meaning no harm. And then they're like, oh, yeah, I know that one. Uh, <laughs> Waylon Jennings grew up in Texas. Uh, he was a teenager. He took a job as a, at a radio station uh, playing rock and roll records. And uh, he became friends with Buddy Holly. And uh, he became Buddy Holly's bass player. And had he not swapped seats with the Big Bopper, he would have been on the plane uh, the day that the music died. Um, but instead, he took a bus and, um, and found out about his friends the next day. Uh, when he arrived in the next city that they were playing in. He was a really young kid. I think he was 21, 22 years old when that happened. And uh, he eventually moved to Arizona and became a, a country star out there. Um, he met Willie Nelson out there, and Willie heard him, and Willie said, you should go to Nashville. I think, um, I think uh, it would make sense for you, and, and he did. Uh, he became a huge star uh, in the 60s. Uh, was kind of your classic country artist. He was a good-looking guy. He had a perfect voice, and uh, like I said earlier, just a, a rebel through and through. Um, and he had a whole bunch of hit songs. Um, but what really, I think, was, was so important about uh, Waylon's career is that um, he, uh, in the early 70s, he just decided, you know what, I don't want to play, um, the, I don't want to make albums that sound like the albums that I've made in the past because, you know, you had this kind of cookie cutter sound coming out of Nashville at the time where you had the same string arrangements and you had the same session players uh, playing on a whole bunch of those albums, and he had harmonies and stuff. But when when they, when Waylon was out on tour, he just had a five piece band playing behind him, and and none of that stuff going on. And he loved the sound of that band, and he wanted that band to be uh, who he recorded with. And he was a big enough star at that point that he could do that. And uh, and he so he did. He renegotiated with his record label and uh, and and got creative control for himself. He put out an album called Honky Tonk Heroes, which to, for me is, is the greatest country album of all time. Uh, all but one of the songs on that album were written by Billy Joe Shaver. I played two Billy Joe, Joe Shaver songs to start the night. And um, Waylon um, really set the path. Willie Nelson's manager was also Waylon Jennings' manager. And, um, and so w Willie also got creative control as well around that same time, early 70s. And so then you started to see phases and stages and Shotgun Willie and um, Red-headed stranger and some of the really really great stuff that uh, that, that that Willie did. Um, this is a song that was done by both of them uh, together. It's called "Good Hearted Woman." Uh, it's a it's an awful fun song. Uh, they supposedly wrote this song um, in the in the late '60s about Tina Turner. They'd seen a, a, a TV special on about her and Ike Turner's marriage, and this was obviously before anybody knew about all the awful stuff that was going on there and. Uh, and Ike was just this really wild guy, and, and they were just kind of enamored with, with Tina. Um, but I, I think that this song was probably also written for his wife, Jessie Coulter, who is a true saint in every way that there is, because uh, being married to Waylon Jennings was not a good time, I don't think, a lot of the time. But uh, they made some beautiful music together, and uh, this is a uh, good-hearted woman. <laughs>
A long time forgotten Dreams are just fell by the way Good life you promise Ain't what she's living But she never complains Of the bad times Of the bad times she's done Just talks about the good times They've had all the good times to come She's a good hearted woman In love with a good time and man She loves him in spite of his ways She don't understand Through teardrops and laughter They'll pass through this world hand in hand Good hearted woman, loving a good time and man. He likes the bright lights, all the nightlife on his good time and friends. Oh, when the party's all over, well, she'll welcome him back home again. Lord oh, no, she don't understand him, but she does the best that she can Good hearted woman Loving a good time And man She's a good hearted woman In love with a good time And man She loves me In spite of my ways She don't understand Her teardrops and laughter, they'll pass through this world hand in hand. Good hearted woman, loving a good time and man. Good hearted woman, loving a good time and man. Good hearted woman. Loving a good time. Thank you. If I had known they had complimentary sunglasses behind, I would have got super stoned before I came out here. <sighs> Now I gotta wait like 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> this is our last song. And uh, the song is a song that you may know. It's a song called On the Road Again. And uh, I'm taking these off because I feel like an absolute fool. Um, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I don't mind showing off my hair, but I, I just didn't. Yeah. Uh, Willie Nelson said this, and uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm scrolling through my iPad pretending that I've found what I'm trying to say. But what has actually happened is I have not found it. And so I'm going back and I'm just gonna keep talking and hopefully things will kind of come together and I'll be able to tell you this quote. But right now I can't do that. So we're just, we're, oh boy, we're gonna get there now. We are all the same. There is no difference anywhere in the world. People are people, they laugh, cry, feel, and love. And music seems to be the common denomination that brings us all together. Music cuts through all boundaries and goes right to the soul. And um, I love that quote from Willie. And, um, you know, I, uh, I've uh, played these concerts all over the place. Uh, I was up in uh, Toronto about 2017, 2018, playing at a music festival up there, just doing my own music. And uh, it was a, a similar size room to this. And there was a great um, green room. Not as great as this green room, though. Let me tell you something, folks. You, if, uh, if you. <laughs> You gotta if, if you can play a little guitar, you gotta figure out how to play here. They have like they have cookies, they have like it's it's insane. They have like like coconut milk or water or whatever whatever you do with a coconut, they have that. Uh, I had a water <laughs> and a cookie. Uh, anyways, um, Willie Nelson um, uh, on the road again. That's what we're talking about. And I was up in Toronto, and uh, there was this small green room back there, and uh, there were bands from all over the world that were there. And uh, I was there by myself, and uh, so I was just sitting back there, 
And then there was two 19-year-old kids from uh, Mexico City. And uh, they didn't speak great English, and I don't speak Spanish. And they were a pop band. They were like, uh, like, boys, uh, like, in sync or, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we didn't have a whole lot to talk about, but we couldn't talk to each other anyways. And then if you remember the great band, the B-52s, imagine, he, I should have known that that was the response I was going to get. Uh, yeah, I was playing with someone that was 106, like four hours ago, so, you know. <laughs> she was like 80 when their first album came out. <laughs> She's got to be 107 by now, yeah. right? <laughs> So, uh, anyways, uh, they were uh, a very similar type of band to the B-52s, but they were all about 24 years old, and they were all from South Korea. And uh, so we were really limited in what we could do back there. But we all had instruments, and um, we all just kind of started banging on them, and uh, nothing magical happened. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we just kind of, it, it just had, we just kind of played a little bit of music, and... Um, I remember I got back to my hotel that night, and uh, I opened my phone, and I went on Facebook, and I had a friend request from one of the kids from Mexico City, and I had a friend request from, from one of the uh, guys from uh, the band in South Korea, and uh, I laughed because every single time they post something, I have absolutely no idea what's going on in their lives. Like, they could be doing like multi-level marketing. I have no idea what goes on with their posts. Uh, but I also kind of got it because you know, music allowed us to kind of slide into this conversation that we never would have been able to have otherwise. And, uh, and to me, there's nobody that has done this through the years more than Willie Nelson. Um, you know, you, you have someone that wrote a song for Patsy Cline, but also had Snoop Dogg play at his birthday party. And, uh, you know, no one's doing that, you know? And, uh, and just all of the different um, folks that he has performed with and, and collaborated with through the years is, is just a remarkable thing to me. And he's, he's going to be 91 years old next month, and he'll be at Great Woods this summer. And uh, uh, I just finished, uh, I'm calling it Great Woods. I have, like, I, like it, it could be 20 different things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what it's called. <laughs> uh, I was talking to, I know that I'm getting up there in age, because I had a woman come up to me earlier, and she said, oh, I saw Merle Haggard play. Um, at that new place over in the seaport. And I said, Harbor Lights? And she said, yeah. I was like, awesome. I remember, I've been going there for 30 years, too. But I get it. Like, I immediately knew what she was talking about. So um, thank you very much for listening uh, and coming and watching and all the things that you're doing. And thank you to Bill and everybody here for being awesome. And, uh, yeah. And uh, I told you I'd be over at the merch table in between the sets last time. And when I said that, I lied to you. Um, because I wasn't over there, but I will be over there right now after this song. So, this is On the Road Again. On the Road Again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. The life I love is making music with my friends Well, I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Going places I ain't never been Seeing things that I may never see again Oh, I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Like a band of gypsies, we go down the highway with the best of friends Insisting that the world Keep turning our way Oh, our way Is on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music With my friends Oh, well, I can't wait to get on The road again
best of friends Insisting that the world keep turning our way Oh, our way is on the road again I just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends Oh, well, I can't wait to get on the road again I can't wait to get on the road again Oh, I can't wait to get on the road again Good night, folks. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. try to go out of my way to make it not that good so you don't ask for another one because uh, because Beth when you go over there and sing you're gonna sing. You, and Nick you want to stick around on guitar a little bit or good stick uh, around is, is a, a term you, you have to be you have to play for a long time before you get to the level where you just learn it at Berkeley stick around yeah uh, I'm gonna play this in C Nick and you can just make no noise if you don't know, whatever you want to do Beth's gonna come over So I was down in um, I was down in Nashville about a year ago, and I was playing at City Winery uh, down there. And I'd played at Nash in Nashville a bunch of times doing my own music, but this was the first time that I'd gone down there and um, and 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 done the songs of the Highwaymen, and I had written a book about the Highwaymen. So I really wanted to promote it, and I was really petrified that there would be nobody there when I went and played. And uh, it turns out people in Nashville are big fans of country music. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> it was totally fun. Yes. They should advertise that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that'd be a big draw. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know why they don't do anything. Uh, anyways, uh, so I went there, and uh, one of the things I got to do that week was I got to go on the morning show down there called Today in Nashville on NBC. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> shout out to NBC's Today in Nashville. Woo! Yeah. So uh, if you don't have this, the written, uh, uh, written permission from, from an artist to, to, on network television, you can't do that song. And I did not have um, written permission. And uh, I had performed on Today in Nashville before doing my own music. And so I did one song on my own, but I really wanted to do something that, that kind of tied in the, the, the concert that I was down there to do. And if a song is over 100 years old, then it goes into the public domain, and then anybody can do whatever they want with that song. Uh, and so, Will the Circle Be Unbroken uh, is a Christian hymn that was written in 1908. And uh, yeah, and, and uh, about 30 years later, uh, the Carter family released it, and it was one of the first real huge country hit songs in about 1935 or so. And uh, to this day, Willie Nelson still plays it every night in his concerts. Uh, Johnny Cash played it every night at his concerts, oftentimes with Maybell Carter sitting in with them. And um, it's such a, a great song. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a it's just depressing song. If you don't know the song, it, it's, it's a song about, you know, taking the, his mother has died and they're coming to take the body away and prepare for the funeral services and stuff. But there's this incredibly uplifting um, chorus that... Um, that happens. And if you know this song, please feel free to sing along. If you're a bad singer, what I'd suggest is sing quieter. But like I mean, me. <laughs> yeah. When Beth and I first met, she uh, she was singing one time. And uh, sometimes she can be a little pitchy vocally. And uh, and we were trying to sing a song together, just sitting in our living room. And I, I said, Hey, um, you're singing out of tune. And she said, Yeah, well, you're fat. <laughs> I 
I'm and so the- embarrassed that that's a true story. <laughs> So if you know like this song, nobody's uh, perfect, right? <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, she's been flawless for 22 plus years, but that one time. Yeah. Yeah. I was almost. <laughs> so this is "Will the Circle Be Unbroken"? Uh, Tim's gonna make some noise. I don't know what's gonna go on over here. Bet's gonna sing. She's gonna tambourine. Uh, the chorus is gonna come around, and I hope you guys all just sing as loud as you want, and uh, hopefully it'll go well. It could go terrible. We'll see. Standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day, when I saw the first come rolling for oh, to carry my mother away. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a better. In the sky, Lord, in the sky. Well, I went home, home was lonely. For my mother, she was gone. All my family, they were crying. For our home felt sad and lonely. Undertaker, 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 please drive slow. For that lady, oh, you were hauling. Oh, I hate to see her go. Say with us. Will the circle be unbroken? Bye, my Lord, bye and bye. There's a better home away. Yeah.